What's going on, guys? Big Time 110 here. And today, I want to talk to you guys about a ROM called Corvus OS 8.5. And this ROM comes in two variations. So you get it with gaps or no gaps. But with that being said, guys, let's get into the ROM. So as you can see, it comes with a nice animation here when you turn on your phone. When the ROM booting up, there's the Corvus logo. It's a nice touch right there. And uh, if we get into the desktop real quick or the home screen, you notice how smooth and nice the ROM is. Now, the ROM does come with the Google Now feed on the left, which is something that I like, something that's missing from Oxygen OS. Moving on to the launcher settings here we have all these options if we go to icons we'll find that we could change the icon pack the icon size we go to home screen we have all these other options we could change the grid size the rows or the drawers we go to gestures we could change the gesture like the double tap gesture and you could have whatever you want i personally have it on screen off so i'm just used to that If you go to miscellaneous, we do have the uh, the option to rotate the screen, the home screen. So you could turn that on if you like. Now, if we move on to the display here, we can see that the 90 frames per second and 90 hertz per second is working. We do have a little problem here just because I have some other open tabs. But trust me, the display is working. No issues whatsoever. So don't worry about that. Also, double tap to wake seems to work sometimes. Uh, in my experience, as you can see right now, uh, it works sometimes, and I have to press the button sometimes. So uh, your mileage will vary. If, hopefully, if you're lucky, it'll work all the time. But as you can see, also the fingerprint, now that's working. I could confirm that it's working with your bank apps and with whatever other apps that might need fingerprint. Now, if we go to uh, network and internet, we have the same options, but check this out, guys. Look at that little animation here. Look at the Bluetooth and you get the little animation there. That's something that this ROM has. And I know maybe other ROMs have it too, but I find it unique that they went the extra mile to make it aesthetically more appealing by putting the little animation. So every time we go to a panel, just look, look, look out for that. So if we go to display here, we do have the styles and wallpaper. And from here, you could choose the wallpaper or you could choose fonts and all that. But we're going to move on to sound. Here in the sound, we do have that nice animation there, as you can see. And also, we do have way at the bottom, the vibration and haptics, intensity, control so you can have it at high medium or low uh, and it it is a nice firm vibration not rattling sound now let's move on to security here you have the fingerprint you could also have face unlock if you like and even smart lock We go to the OnePlus setting. We do have the high brightness mode. We do have the automatic for that too. And how much uh, bright you want it to get. We do have DC dimming. And under panel modes, we do have two modes. RGB mode and vivid colors or just off. And if we go to the bottom, we have the notification slider options for the silent, vibrant, and normal. Okay, going back to themes. Now, here under themes, you could choose whatever color you like for your accent. You could also choose from all these options for the font. And there's a lot. So I'm pretty sure there's something for everybody here. And also your icon shape, you could choose whatever you like here. You could change it. And also your 
quick uh quick settings you could change those and you could also have a schedule if you like uh if you want to change the theme moving on to raven's lair on the notifications we do have all the head up options the smart replies here we do have force close notification turned on that way that's why i don't see any when uh, if, if there's any uh we have the edge lighting we have uh the blink for call here and we also get charge animation so whenever you plug in your phone you'll have a charge animation all right don't know what happened here but we'll just continue All right, under miscellaneous here, we have rounded corners. No need to mess with any of that because the settings are already good. You have your screen animations here. Uh, we have the screen off animation like CRT, which is my favorite. Just look at that. But again, double tap isn't working for me, so I have to press the button. All right, we also get these options here for the screenshot. We have a dedicated gaming mode, which is a good thing. Uh, I have all these options already set up so that nobody bugs me and the phone is on silent when I'm playing. If we move on to uh, block sensors, here you can block sensors from a lot of these apps that you don't want them accessing any sensors. And we also get all these other options here that I'm pretty sure we've seen in other ROMs. Moving on to lock screen here, we have the lock screen uh, style for the clock. We could choose any of these. And for me, I like text clock, so just show you real quick. There you go. We also get clock color, date, where you want it, and everything here. So you can set however you want your clock. We also get lock screen charging animations here. You get your charging info. If we go to fingerprint preference here, we have the fingerprint unlock, your icon customizer. So you can choose whatever you want from those or just a custom one. For the effects. Uh, if I choose McLaren, boom, McLaren. And if I choose, uh, let's see what else. Me, UI White. Or Whirlwind, we get Whirlwind. Moving on to the battery options here, we can change all the battery options like aggressive battery, which I haven't messed with. We have the battery bar, battery location, battery icon style on the top. You could choose whatever you like from these options and you could even choose to have the battery uh, percentage inside the icon here. We also have carrier labels. So here you could have your own. We have the status bar clock options, which you already know. This is just to customize your clock. I like it in the center, so I leave it in the center. And uh, we also get the icon manager here. so. If you want to get rid of some icons, you can from the status bar, just turn them off. If you want a custom logo, here's your, your options that you have and just have at it, put whatever icon you like. We go to the quick settings here. We do have all the usual, nothing really special, nothing uh, that you haven't seen before, but there's a lot of options for you to customize yours. We do have traffic indicators. We do have the screen off power button torch. So if you press the long power, so if you're long press the power, it'll turn on the torch. If we go to navigations, we do have the system navigation. We get all three options. So whatever is your favorite, there you go. And you also have some long left swipe options or actions but i don't i don't use them so but you can 
We also have the power menu and animations. So you can see this is fly and this is how I, I keep it. You're gonna see the option just fly in, fly out. There you go. You do have the advanced restart, screenshot and lockdown. Now, if we move on to the camera, photo works, video, you'll get a force close. Now, in order to get it to work, just long press it and just press on the shortcut to take a video and it should work. Now, this seems to be the case in other ROMs, so I already knew that. So I'm just letting you guys know. Now, moving on to gaming, guys. Uh, didn't have no problems with gaming. As you can see, I'm playing Pokemon Go here. As you can see, it's working fine. No, no problems whatsoever. And uh, I'm a big uh, Pokemon Go uh, fan guy. So if you guys want to add me, here's my uh, friend code. And I also uh, will get the QR code. So if you guys want to scan it, add me, and let's trade some gifts. And uh, yeah, guys, moving on to uh, cloud gaming with Stadia, which is what I mainly do if I do any gaming on the phone. Uh, sorry for the camera is it wasn't focusing but it, it was working but it was a little tricky because uh there was times where i wouldn't connect i would say half of the time it wouldn't half of the time it would so if you uh play stadia or any cloud gaming just be aware of that i mean it works but sometimes you'll get those uh connection errors here and there but as you can see right here it's working no problems whatsoever except for my camera that couldn't focus so i apologize for that now if we move on to the battery here here's the thing guys the battery on this rom it depends on your usage obviously but when i was first having the all on display on other time i was getting barely like four hours of screen on time when i turned that off I started getting way better results. As you can see, uh, I'm getting six hours and a half plus, and that's a typical day. So um, I would recommend you guys turn it off if you don't need it. But if you do, then sacrifice a little bit of that battery. Now, the question that everybody been waiting for is, would I recommend this ROM to you? And uh, yeah, why not? I mean, it has a lot of customization. It has good battery depending on how you use it. And uh fingerprint reader works great. So you're not gonna be missing out on that with your bank caps and you know, so on. So so yeah, I would. I mean, there's a little bit of uh, bugs here and there, but nothing too drastic, too big that's gonna affect your experience. Um, you know, it's daily driver material. So thumbs up for me, guys. Uh if you guys wanna try it, go ahead. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for everything. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as that motivates me to, uh, to make new videos for you guys. But uh, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.